Hey everyone, Blaze here. Welcome back to a anime pickups video. It's been a very long time. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I have so much stuff to share, obviously, because it's been so long. But um, yeah, so it's going to be a numerous uh, hiatus style pickup videos. If I'll call them hiatus this time, I don't know. Because I never even completed my original hiatus pickups. But there was still like at least. 20 things I probably ne just never got around to showing <laughs> so uh, yeah anyway but I've been busy um, one of the things I've been most busy with is discotheque I still haven't got as much as I wish I had done uh, in terms of discotheque media stuff in the period between I think what November was the last time I actually showed you some well Speed Racer was sort of a pickup as well as, a, as an unboxing but uh, yeah like basically November was the last time I showed you anything discotheque at least and uh, yeah in that in the meantime I picked up about 28 things and I have more coming but um yeah uh, <laughs> we're gonna start with three of the major discotheque pickups that I've done three of the things that they're de one of them's completed and the other two are ongoing and I'm very into what they're doing with these titles very excited about it so we'll start off with the one that makes the most sense, so <laughs> about hmm, almost 10 years ago, maybe a little bit less, um, Discotheque were putting out Fist of the North Star, if you remember, and uh, obviously Toei animated series, and they were coming to the end of that, and there was a lot of um, fan speculation about what they might pick up next, at least in terms of like longer, like long running shows, and um, one title that a lot of people hoped they would pick up was Galaxy Express 3.9 now <laughs> um, and apparently it eventually did come out that Toei did offer um, Galaxy Express 3.9 to Discotheque but they'd, you know, they'd only just finished up or were about to finish up doing Fist of the North Star and it's worth remembering as crazy and as kind of big in many ways you know, in at least in terms of their um, output rather than the people behind the scenes and <laughs> um, you know, discotheque are quite you know weren't they're big now but they weren't big at all back then and like picking up another series off the Fist and North Star would have been quite risky especially one as long as Galaxy Express 39 so unfortunately Toei then either turned around or were approached by a stupid company <laughs> who have basically dabbled, hadn't dabbled in anime at all at that point, uh, S Small Entertainment or Small Entertainment, and this is what we got, Gaz Express 3.9 on DVD. I'm probably one of the few people that did actually get around to buying this set in the end. Obviously, this is quite notorious, this ended up being just hard subs uh, on DVD. These were basically the Toei Animation uh, web rips, like translations that were on Crunchyroll and have been for a long time. Um, it's basically those on DVD, <laughs> just all crammed onto a few discs. Um, in the end, packaging, quite nice, but yeah. For a long, long time, this is all we got as Press 39 fans ever got. And I bought this because I was like, if this is ever, all I'm ever going to get, then I'll take it, because it's better than nothing. In my opinion, it was better than nothing. But thankfully, many, many, many <laughs> years later, at least that's how it felt, I think it was in the end, only about six years later, uh, Discotheque finally announced that they were going to be putting out Gets Express 3.9, the TV series. They'd already done the movies, which we'll be talking about a little bit more about those in a minute as well. But um, yeah, they ended up saying they were going to put, be putting out the TV series, which is awesome. And uh, But they said they were going to do it on Blu-ray, which had me very um, concerned. Well, not very, but I was a little bit worried. Because in Japan, the series had also been put out on Blu-ray, but just in, as just the same as a lot of other Toei animated shows that have come out on Blu-ray in Japan, it was uh, DNR'd and upscaled <laughs> and just looked kind of garbage, really. Fortunately, um, Discotheque said that they were going to address that their Blu-ray while also being an upscale of a cell animated show, which is never great. They said they were going to do a better job, and I can confirm that they did. I've picked up Gaz Express 39 TV Collection 1. Uh, I love how they've called these. So we've got Collection 1 and The Departure. This is episodes 1 through 39, which is the same count. And that's one extra episode. This one only had 38. 
So yeah, so this one's got 39. But yeah, <laughs> on Blu-ray, and then I've also picked up Collection 2, The Layover. So yeah, uh, these I've, I've put in this one and uh, to check out the video quality, and it looks pretty good. Um, it's got all the film grain intact, which is nice. It's basically the DVDs as they were in Japan, upscaled to 1080p, and um, you know treated with care. And as a result, I'm pretty happy with how it's come out. I was slightly nervous about it, honestly. Again, it was going to be, always be better than anything else that we've had, especially what we did have with the smaller entertainment release. But um, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm satisfied for sure, and I'm very excited to finally own one of my absolute favourite ever series, Guys Express 3.9 from 1979, obviously based on Leiji Matsumoto's ma manga. Um, only complaint about both of these releases, I don't know where these cases come from. I've never seen freeway cases with this type of swinging door before. It's very thick in the middle here, and it's causing a lot of problems. I, I, well, I don't know if it's actually the cause of the problem, but this disc here constantly falling out. Every single time I open this case up, this disc is loose. It just doesn't seem to want to bite onto this bit here so have to handle that with care and always be aware that this disc is probably going to be loose when I open it which is unfortunate but yeah so we've got three discs um, quite hefty episode counts but it's on blu-ray and it is from an upscaled source so it's not the end of the world so we've got uh, episodes 1 through 13 26 uh, sorry 14 through 26 and then 27 through 39 so 13 episodes a disc um, yeah it's uh, uh, it's pretty great. Uh, this one doesn't have any of the um, TV specials, which is very interesting. Discoteca are also going to be putting out all of the TV specials. In fact, since I just mentioned that, let's move on to the second collection, which does contain the first of the three TV specials. So here we have Layover. Again, very nice. Very similar packaging to the first one in terms of its design. Ever so slightly different poses. I really do like this design a lot. Um, it's kind of interesting where we have just a you know a small bit of um, space, wider space, you know, stars and all that, and then we just got this white, almost like abstract um, train track going around the outside. I kind of like it. it kind of looks like a gear and a cog in the way that it goes round. If you notice, which is kind of appropriate given the plot of this series. So, yeah, I don't I don't know if that's what they were going for, but that's kind of how my kind of how I see it so I think it looks cool but yeah here we have collection 2 and this one contains um, the TV special um, it just says TV special 1 I, f I don't actually know which TV special that is then obviously these are all subbed into English only there's no dub on this obviously but um, it does contain um, the vintage English dub <laughs> for the TV special. Um, a couple of the TV specials were dubbed. I don't believe this is the one that was dubbed by Harmony Gold. I know at least one or maybe two of them were. I think from what I remember them talking about on Twitter uh, that the English dub on this one uh, was done in Australia and as a result has some quite strange character change, uh, character name changes and stuff. This one also tends to fall out occasionally. It hasn't fallen out this time, so maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was, but yeah. And uh, this one has one less episode, I believe. I know, we've got 12 episodes on disc 2. So yeah, we've got um, 40 to 51, uh, 52 to 64, and then 65 to 76 to make it 37 episodes. So yes, we've got two, two episodes left. Uh, less, sorry. But anyway, yeah, I am super ecstatic to obviously finally own Galaxy Express 3.9. <laughs> um, obviously, it's not complete just yet. We have one more collection to come out, um, which I already have on pre-order. Pre -order. It comes out in uh, September, I believe. So, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. Because at that point, we will have all of Galaxy Express uh, 3.9 out, um, basically. Because uh, <laughs> um, uh, that will link because uh, we'll have all the movies, which I'll talk about in a minute as well, um, and obviously all of the TV series, um, and then all the TV specials. The only other thing that is like directly called Galaxy Express 3.9 and is it's not really part of it, 
in my opinion. But uh, and there's no chance of it ever coming out um, unless yeah well, they would have announced if they were going to put it on the final set, which they haven't. Um, there is a six episode net original animation that was done in like 2000, the early 2000s, 2001 era. I think they're all like 10 minute episodes or something. They're all digital, pretty basic digital animation because they were done on the you know, they were released on the internet. Um, yeah, there there are those. You can get those on DVD in Japan. Obviously, they're not subtitled into English. I doubt we'll ever get them. They've never been fan subbed into English even, unfortunately. But um, yeah, there's those. Um, there's also there's some weird movie thing like some yeah you know, sort of thing that would have been a, a uh, thing that would have been in a a I can't even get the word out amusement park sort of thing in Japan that I think got some sort of limited home release in Japan but again none of that stuff is really that important the main stuff we will have which is the TV series finally all the 113 episodes plus the TV specials which is great and of course the movies so in terms of the movies um, we have from Discotech Gatsby Express 39, the movie on DVD. This is the best movie of the three. We then got a Blu-ray, which is quite nice, even with the artificial film grain, it's better than nothing. Um, then we got Adieu, Gatsby Express 39 on DVD. I'm keeping the DVDs, if you wonder why I still have them, because the... Um, I haven't actually checked this for sure, but I'm pretty darn sure that the DVDs do have their film grain intact. Obviously the detail is no nowhere near, and the colouring in general is nowhere near as significant as the Blu-rays but you do have the actual original film grain rather than the artificial one which had to be put on these discs by Discotech because in Japan obviously they scrubbed the, their Blu-ray releases completely of all film grain because they're monsters. <laughs> anyway and then we have Gatsby Express 39 Eternal Fantasy on DVD sub only and then we have the brand new Blu-ray release of Gatsby Express 39 Eternal Fantasy which is now got a dub. Quite crazy. Um, yeah, this got a dub. Obviously, this is a much shorter film. This was uh, only about 50 minutes, isn't it? 54 minutes. This is based on the second uh, manga uh, that uh, Leiji Matsumoto did. He did the original Guys Express series, manga series, back in the 70s. He then re resurrected it in the 90s. Viz Media put that out. I don't know if his media put it out complete. I do have that and I actually read it this year for the first time. And it ends just as abruptly as this film does. So I don't know. I mean, this film goes beyond where the TV's. Uh, beyond where the. Um, I say, wait, no, the manga goes beyond where the film goes. But still, like. Um, they actually kind of end in the same place, so it's kind of weird. But anyway, um, there's a lot more that happens in the manga that of like the normal journeying of um, Tetsuro and uh, Maytel and stuff but anyway whatever I'm getting off, way off track here um, <laughs> so yeah Gatsby Plus 3 Night Eternal Fantasy the movie um, it's really weird when I first watched the trilogy of films a long 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 time ago this ended up being my favorite one um, upon uh, I have revisited it before watching this Blu-ray but I think my opinion had already begun to wane, as I mentioned in this a uh, little bit a minute ago. I, I said that the original movie is my favourite, and it definitely is. It's a 10 out of 10 movie for me. It's incredible. Um, but yeah, uh, for some reason this had was my original favourite, and that opinion began to wane. Uh, and upon finally watching this on Blu-ray and enjoying it immensely in terms of the art style, I kind of feel like I can understand why this was my favourite originally. Um... This obviously is, you know, f animated 15 years later, so it has significantly, um, so, well, I wouldn't say significantly, but it looks really, really nice in terms of the cell animation. This is right towards the very end of cell animation, so yeah, it's got some really nice stuff. Although I do believe there's some CG in this. I think, I think the train might be CG occasionally, or something to that degree. I can't. Quite recall. I, I watched this back in when this came out, like February or something. So I'm kind of blanking on that a little bit. But anyway, yeah. Um, as for the dub, um, they brought back Lisa Ortiz to play Maytel. Um, I've never been a huge fan of Maytel. Uh, sorry, of Lisa Ortiz as Maytel. To me, she's kind of um, typecast as 
Lena Inverse in my mind, and Lena Inverse is like the polar opposite of Maytel. So, yeah, it's just kind of weird. I, I've always found it weird hearing Lisa Ortiz's voice come out of Maytel's mouth. But there you go. So, um, yeah, that's just for Free Nine Eternal Fantasy on Blu ray. I'm very, very happy to finally get this on Blu-ray. I was kind of worried we weren't going to, um, since you know the Blu-ray had been out in Japan for just as long, almost, as the two original movies, and especially when we got the two original movies on Blu-ray, this was out in Japan on Blu-ray and had been for a while, so um, yeah, I was kind of curious why they waited to bring this one out, but potentially the reason was, because I think it was about a year later that we got this one, the reason probably was that they we're going to dub it, which is cool. But yeah, overall, it's a kind of a weird movie. Like I said, it ends in a um, uh, a bit of a strange way. We have a, another Galaxy Express 39 pass, which is nice, updated for this movie. And then this. I actually have a, a poster of this artwork. It looks so nice. But um, yeah, um, yeah, this movie just kind of ends in a really weird way. It just doesn't really go anywhere. But it has some really beautiful sequences in it. I love the opening to this movie. The Escape from Earth is really good uh, in this one. Uh, it's once again the Gatsus Press 39, the conductor, Maytel, coming to um, Tetsuro's aid on Earth and bringing him away from Earth onto a whole different journey, which they talk about the whole way through. It builds up and then it just ends. <laughs> before it even really even gets started but uh, they go to this planet at one point it's got like hot springs on it it's just and there's like fireflies as Meitou and Tetsuro in the hot spring at night with a big star starry sky above them it looks really really nice it's a really beautiful film um, in terms of the animation and some of the set piece sequences the fight towards the end while well, I'm not really that concerned about uh, the villain in any significant way and um, the fight is really cool as well so yeah uh, there's a there's, there is a lot to enjoy in this movie but it, in terms of like the grander scope of Galaxy Express 39 and like the, the grander story um, yeah this is not really um, required viewing if you really don't feel the need but um, yeah for the fans this is nice it's a nice um, addition, but it's certainly not what I would consider the end of the epic. <laughs> Wait, and uh, you know the story, you know, says the same thing really. It's uh, it says something on the back here. Stop on the road to eternity, and obviously, eternal fantasy. Um, I don't know. Like maybe I'm miss. I mean, as I said, I've read the manga now. I've watched this movie a few times. I haven't necessarily looked into it too deeply online with other fan speculation but I guess it's possible that um, there's a, uh, something I'm just missing in terms of the ending and how it isn't just cut off and we should have you know maybe it's just one of those things was like an open ending sort of thing rather than just the end but I don't know it feels like it um, I feel like it isn't open ended it's more like the they wanted to make more, there is supposed to be more to this story, but it just never happened for whatever reason. But anyway, yeah, Galaxy Express Free Night the I talked about that for 20 minutes? For the whole of the Galaxy Express stuff? Are you serious? Or 19 minutes? Holy hell. Um, yeah, I, I might even make this the Galaxy Express Free Night update, and then move on to the other stuff in another part. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope to be making more of these. Uh, more regularly, um, yeah, that, that that was a lot to talk about, so yeah, I remember Blaze, um, I hope you enjoyed my brief return, hopefully it isn't too brief and I continue on with some a lot of the other stuff I have to share, so yeah, I'm Blaze, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you soon.